For this project, we're going to need seven six foot tall fence pickets. We're going to mark and cut our pickets at 70 inches, and that's going to cut off this little dog eared part right here. And now we're going to set our table saw up to rip our fence pickets down to an inch and three quarters. And we should be able to get three strips out of each fence picket. Now we're going to stain all of our slats. And now we're going to cut our inlay. We're going to cut the angles at 40 degrees. And now I've cut out the pieces for our inlay. We need two pieces at seven and three quarter, two pieces at nine inches, two at 11 inches, two at 12 and three quarter, two at 14 and a half, two at 16 inches, and then we need one that's 17 and a quarter. And I've cut each of them with a 40 degree angle on each end. And now we're going to mark the center. So we mark the center of each board. I mark the center of the inlay, and all we have to do is line up the line on the inlay. So here's our inlay. The very first one is going to be the top of our leg. And that's going to be the first part of our inlay. So if this is upside down and we'll set the leg in here and when we turn it over you'll see the top of this leg and the top of all these. Now we have our inlay glued in and I have it clamped down. Our legs are part of the inlay and then we're going to put this brace on the inside of the leg here on each side. I'm going to put a brace right here in the middle too. So now I'm going to add these braces to the inside of our legs here. So I want to make sure the legs are at 90 degrees. So I'm going to use my speed square and I'll set it in here and as you can see that leg is. And if I put up this leg you can see the gap here. So I know that leg's not square, so I need to push it out to the square and then I'll add my, my brace there. All right, so now we're gonna glue our ends together. I'll put glue in between every board and then we'll just clamp it together. And we'll clamp this up. And that's what we're going to do.
So now all our boards aren't even because when we bend them, this one will get shorter than the middle one. So now we're going to just cut straight across. I'll just lay my straight edge across and mark it. And now I'll just cut the end off and we'll do both ends. Now we'll attach our leg at the end of the bench. Now we're going to add our bow at the bottom. Now let's just put a screw here and an angle come into our leg. This is going to give it a little added support and it makes it look great too. Now we're just going to go back and touch up any spots we missed on the first stain. And here's our finished bench. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Oh yeah, that looks safe. That looks real safe, yeah. I don't know what you're trying to do. You gotta fall.